Warning, this video contains spoilers for Rec, Rec 2, Rec 3 Genesis, and Rec 4 Apocalypse. If you haven't watched these movies, I highly recommend you watch it before moving on to this video. It would make a lot more sense. So you're back? Okay, then let's move on. <laughs> Here he is in his full glory, the man, the myth, the legend, it's Nick fucking Wow Cage! You know, it was all fun and games for me until it, I stopped. I thought, wait a minute. I just finished watching a movie, a good horror movie. I think this could be in Dead by Daylight. And I was like, hold your horses right there. And so I decided to make this video. It's been a long time coming. I've been working on this video for I don't know how long. And here I am. So ladies and gentlemen, sit down and grab your camera because today I will introduce to you Wreck. Y que no le dejara acercarse al edificio y le traía antibióticos a la silla. All right, for those who don't know what Wreck is, it's basically about a reporter and her cameraman Pablo going to going along with some few and some police officers into an apartment building where apparently there is a got quarantined and now they have to fight for their lives in order to survive. Spoilers! No one survives and Angela is the only one to survive. And now for the sequel Wreck 2. Basically it takes place 10 minutes after the first movie, a group of SWAT team members and an Health inspector come in in order to find out what happened inside. And well, as you all know, it's overrun with zombies. Apparently the the health inspector is actually a pastor. And he's trying to find a cure for the zombie virus. Oh, speaking of which, the zombie virus is demonic. It's basically doom, but in Spain. Anyways, long story short, everybody dies, uh, the priest dies, everyone, like, clearly dies. Also, a group of kids also die, dumbasses, and the only one to survive again is Angela, which, the reason she survives because she's got a demonic little peasant inside of her. Think what you think. And now, on to Rex 3. It's a Sorts. It's basically a winning gone wrong and two lovers are trying to find each other and the the wife is apparently the Spanish version of Ash Williams because she rocking that chainsaw baby yes queen but sadly they all die no one survives not even one everyone just dies <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Rick 4. Now it's in a boat. And Carla finally gets out of the goddamn apartment building, but she is stuck in a boat. A cost, a big price to pay. And everyone dies once again. And surprisingly enough, there are two survivors one being Angela, and one being Nick. Nick is just the guy in the chair, and both Angela and Nick escape through the boat, the boat explodes, and that's the end of the series. Kind of sad, they could have done more movies. Maybe ended with a bang, but it ended right then and there with a cliffhanger. Kind of a shame actually, but hey, what can you do? This part is gonna be a short one because uh, I don't have a script for this, and I'm not gonna go around searching for why it's good for Dead by Daylight. So I'm just gonna state it out loud. It's just good. The movie's good. The premise is good. It 
since Dead by Daylight is a celebration of horror, they should add this. Because this movie is so good that it got an American ripoff. I'm not kidding, check it out. It, it looks so similar, it's like a copy and paste. It's like that one dude is like, hey, can I copy your homework? He's like, sure, just um, change a few things, and there you go. Uh, so, yeah, Rick, it's a. Uh, it will be a great addition. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be another non-English speaking person, but hey, who cares? English motherfucker, do you speak it? And for uh, the survivor, I, I honestly think it's gonna be Angela. Cut lore wise, I, she could be taken from from the ending of Wreck One or after Wreck Four. Cosmetics, the uh, her beginning outfit from Wreck 1 and her boat outfit, which I like to call from Wreck 4. Uh, perks? I say, uh... Maybe... Like, horroring perks, because, you know, she's a reporter for, uh, for a network. She... Any, uh... Perks that, like... That help other survivors, because, uh... She's very altruistic in the movie. She tries to help in the best way she can. And, um... It's escaping a chase because, uh... Angela went through shit. She escaped an apartment building by luck. Even in, this, even in the fourth movie, she escaped by luck. She had help. Like, those things... See, she's a, a lucky person, so, uh... Not, not luck perks, because we know what happened to Ace. Now, uh, there's a lot of legendary skins to choose from. Manu, the firefighter, the police officer, Father Owen, the Geo Squad, a lot of options. Hell, they could even add Clara and Cole, though, from Wreck 3. I mean, just imagine just being in the middle of a quarantine zone and just being brought into a hellhole with your bloody dress just remembering all the people that you have lost, family members, friends, seeing them getting mutilated just to get sent to hell with your bloody dress! Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty scary. Well, that does it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you come up with any perks from a dumbass of coming up with something new leave a comment down below and go watch the movie it's so good and uh, i guess that's it uh, i'll leave you to it have a wonderful day stay safe